Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barl, and I'm going to show you guys a way to update. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, were talking about which kind of memory card to use with this motherboard. It's a bit of an older motherboard, but uh, nobody knows exactly what it is. Nobody's pinpointing it. Well, I went ahead and got this little baby right here. This thing is approved for this motherboard, so we're going to go right into it. So guys, right here, as you can see, this changes color, okay, just want to show it to you. I'm sorry there's no like good lighting here, but I just want to show you that this thing does work perfectly on this machine. So let's put these babies in, see how they are. Now they light up different colors, not that I care because I put my computer now in the bottom on a, you know, on a cart, the one I did a review for you guys. So anyways, let's get right into it. Okay guys, now the test the truth. So I'm gonna put this baby on, Let's see if this thing lights up, and there you go. Now you have to download, I think, some software to change the colors. Like I said, I really don't care for it. Um, it is nice looking. So these are a four chip set, like I said. So not too bad, not too shabby. I love the way they're changing colors. Now this is also a good way. The reason why I like LED indicators is because of also the fact that some people always have an issue with their uh, memory uh, chips and they don't know that they didn't put it they didn't seed it all the way through this is a good way to find out if it did because it wouldn't light up so i really like that led for that purpose besides all of the you know beauty and everything of leds and you know how i designed uh, this computer to begin with uh that's uh pretty much you know uh, what it is now i'm gonna obviously have to replace some uh, uh one of the hard drives actually there were two hard drives that went bad on this system so I replaced it, um, and now I got to, uh, uh, you know, re replace it with uh, one of these beautiful M2 cards right here. So it's going to be nice there, one terabyte, and then six terabytes of a regular HDD uh, uh, drive uh, that's going to be six uh, terabytes. So we're going to have it all operating under one freaking roof. So not bad, not you know, a really good upgrade for something, you know, that I just use as like a gaming pc slash work pc not really much for intensive gaming unless it's like the other computer but you know the, this is uh nice uh, mainly for the work at home and all of that but this is a very very powerful machine it is 100 percent overkill uh, this thing is a gaming pc that i built absolutely stunning there's uh, not really anything that can actually subdue this baby this is cyber demon the one i did that how to build a computer uh video be sure to check that out um so you know of course i could be a little bit better with the cable management i just don't care as much right now for this one as uh but um not bad pretty cool so let's go look at the bios right now and see how this baby runs again this is four all working together to form 32 uh and i know like i said i I see this all the time on the uh, crosshair, uh, you know, uh, uh, system. Nobody is actually telling you what is wrong. Uh, you know, uh, nobody's telling you what exact memory to use. And everybody's confused and they're writing in the forums and everything. So I decided, I said, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys exactly the memory that, you know, now I upgraded the memory, obviously. But I wanted to let you know exactly what memory I use because the other memory chips did not work. And uh, this is possibly going to be the last Asus motherboard I ever buy in my life. Uh, I always had issues sort of with them. I'm not a big fan of the Asus brand anymore. They used to be great. I love, of course, A-Bit, but that's gone. So MSI would be the uh, best one to go into right now. And uh, definitely a new PC that I'm going to build, whichever it'll, it'll be is definitely going to be an msi board uh, i am so sick and tired of this and i see all of the people are sick and tired of it and how you guys bought memory chips and everything and it's just not working anymore that makes me extremely angry so uh because they're not uh you know supported or they never were supported in in this uh, motherboard so right now we're gonna get this to work here so you guys have a good system at 32 uh you know set up here and uh anyways let's go right to the bio Okay guys, so you see I have 32 uh, right now. Everything's operating great, except if you look at it, it's not 3200. 
because obviously the 3200 doesn't work uh, megahertz works on this uh, so you know obviously because you know this uh, Asus is actually a piece of crap uh, what I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna update the BIOS and I'm going to see if that changes anything, okay? Because I haven't updated the BIOS, so to be fair, I need to give them a chance at least for that. I know before, it would not update the BIOS at all on my old memory. It did not update the BIOS. It didn't let me update it at any circumstances whatsoever that I had to go and revert back to the old, um, you know, to the old one. So anyways, let's get right into it. Okay guys, so I updated to 7704. So now I actually know a lot of people were complaining that this motherboard can't be updated, including myself. Uh, what I figured is it's probably because the memory, uh, you know, the memory, something was wrong with the memory or something wasn't working right. Uh, also, what's funny is now the memory is correct and it still wouldn't do it from the USB. Uh, you know, where you have to rename it and everything. So what I did is I just went simply to here. Now, before, this didn't work either. So you go into the tools right here and then just go, you know, and just update it uh, through the, you know, through the Internet, uh, through, you know, online or whatever. But you're doing it like this, and everything should work fine after that. Now, if you guys look, even though it updated, which is fine, we are stuck at 2133, okay? So what we're going to do here is we're going to test it out, okay? So the last time I did it, believe it or not, it worked on, where is it, 2933. It did not work on 3000, but let's go to what it was advertised on. Let's go to 3200 and see where we're at, okay? And let's see if this works now. Uh, so we're going to go into exit right here. We're going to just do a save. Oh, I hate how sensitive the mouse is uh, during this time. That's how I usually use the keyboard. But right now I'm holding up the camera here. So I just want to show you guys um, exactly what's going on here. And we'll see if this thing actually works or not. So you'll see it shuts off. Let me just go a little bit more back so you guys can see it. So guys, so keep in mind that probably the update in the BIOS, no matter what, it didn't work with the USB. So if it doesn't work for you, like a lot of you guys said, even through the BIOS, most likely your memory is bad. Uh, you know, obviously because it's not supported by it, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. But I've, you know, as soon as you put in this memory, uh, you know, memory that I recommend here, you should be fine to update at least to that, to the latest firmware. But let's see if this firmware makes any crap of a difference here. Uh, now, again, uh, something you guys should know is if it doesn't, you could still go uh, just below the 3000 and it'll work fine. 3000 won't work, but we'll test it out right here. We'll see what it is. I'm not going to waste that much of your time. I'm going to wait till this thing actually turns on. So and then I'll record. So it took a while, took a while to get to this. I'm not even kidding. Uh, but that's, you know, when you set it, uh, it usually takes a. Uh, just about a bit maybe about 30 seconds or so i just don't want to waste that much time here um and there you go let's see if this thing actually boots at 3200 and there you go it doesn't so we're gonna try now 3000 okay we're gonna see if that update made any bit of a difference the thing is this memory will work flawless you won't get any hang-ups or anything like that that's for sure so because I have already tested it, but I haven't tested it on 3000 yet. So let's check it out on 3000. Now this is the reason I will never, ever, ever buy another Asus board. They are the worst. As a person who builds computers and used to build them also uh, professionally for people, I could tell you that I have not had more issues at all in any type of motherboard than the Asus. The only reason I chose this is A, I had hope only because it had the most USBs at the time, but mo most SATA ports at the time. Now, of course, there's other ones by MSI that are gonna do way better than this. And MSI, I haven't had any issues in the boards that I, uh, the, you know, the boards I used for building PCs. I haven't had any issues with MSI. I really wish ABIT was still around. I really am a little bit ticked off that uh, they're uh, gone. So, it, I don't know, man. I hope they come back and save the computer world. <laughs> Uh, let's see here at 3000 here. 
this one actually booted faster so it didn't take a respite so let's see wow okay what is this if this is starting then the update no it didn't it restarted <laughs> I was going to say that the update at least allowed it to go to 3,000, uh, but it didn't. So now I'm going to show you guys exactly what's what. Well, let's see. I don't think it did, but uh see where it takes us. But yeah, this is why I will never build another uh, Asus uh, PC ever again. But here we go. I think we're actually going and booting up. So the update will let you go to 3,000. That is awesome okay so that that's something i mean awesome that's something that's okay that's good i guess uh but uh you know it won't let you go to the advertised to the advertised uh one so it is something to think about guys i am uh let me just see here just want to run it in here let's make it big here we go um performance there we go. Now, mind you, I got to overclock my uh, CPU to 4.2 uh, because what happens is when you update the BIOS, everything gets resetted. Uh, so right here, guys, as you can see, you know, 32 of memory. Um, everything here is looking good. And right here, operating at 3,000. Too bad it can't go still to 3,200, but at least it goes to... 3000 megahertz so that is not bad for an update uh you know the fact that uh, once it updates it allows you to go to that again if you can't update it it's because your memory most likely is bad none of the memory that you know is used is supported except the ones i was mentioning here i mean they have a whole list of it but this is the one i recommend from all of them uh so I'm going to say if you're using one that's not compatible, it still can let you update on one memory stick. Uh, if you can't update it, please, guys, use these. This is all compatible, and you will get it at 3,000. I know a lot of you guys said it's not fair. What's going on? You know, everybody's just saying use this, but they're not telling you what memory they recommend, what memory they're using. Well, I recommend this. Like I said, Definitely a 10 out of 10 for what we have to work with here on the Asus boards. Uh, operates really well. I love the color scheme on this. I, I love it mainly because it lets you know if you hooked it up, uh, if you pressed it in all the way. Uh, I ha obviously have no issue like that, but there's a lot of people, believe it or not, that do have that issue. So that's good. Uh, you could control the color using the software uh, on any one that you want. I'm going to probably make it pulsate red like I did before on the other uh, chips right there. So this is really a 10 out of 10. It's just sad that it can't take full advantage of what this has to offer, but at least you get up to 3,000 on the newest update, at least till you could build a new computer and then tell Asus to, you know, uh, basically let them know that you'll never ever ever buy another motherboard from them ever again this is truly a extremely sad story and when you guys told me about that i mean i i don't update bioses unless i have to uh in this situation i bought cheap memory i didn't care you know i just wanted something to run my work at home uh type thing at and you know it is overkill there's no doubt about that but you know that's that's the reason i i built this it wasn't to make these huge things and whatever and but now that i saw when a lot of you guys were complaining about the higher you know rate memory like the 3200 and all that not working and that you can't update your bios and you can't get uh anything going over 2100 uh 2133 whatever uh megahertz well uh guess what guys on this new update it will work to 3000 if not it will work to 29 whatever the hell it was uh just below the 3000 but if you want to get it to 3000 update to the latest uh firmware and if you can't update it get this memory chip it is um compatible and it should work now again on the one that wasn't compatible i was i managed to actually you know update but again it didn't go over the three what was it 6201 update and even with this chip with this memory okay even with the renaming and everything like i updated the other firmware it did not work so i had to do it through going online 
through the BIOS and basically just downloading it from there and everything seemed to work. But before it didn't work either or. So this is really cool. Uh, a nice workaround for the time being till you go ahead and build yourself another one. Anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. As always, you know, self-funded here. This is the people's channel. You guys know that. I work three jobs to make this baby happen. I thank you guys for the Patreon offers, but I'd rather you guys keep the money to buy a new PC or a new something, you know, anything uh, that can, uh, you know, uh, donate to charity, anything like that. I got this. The best way you could give back is simply by commenting because together, that's the reason I opened this channel. And so together we could give back to the community to make better informed decisions and let them know when something is crappy when everybody else that are paid for are saying it's great okay this this motherboard has not given me any issues up to the point of the memory that's about it i do love this motherboard i have nothing against it at the time of getting it it was simply the best one i could recommend only, uh, because obviously the memory and whatever didn't work at the advertised speeds. But the thing is, for all of us that like that are especially that are putting in massive amounts of videos and editing. Like I said, I do this for work, uh, and and you need you need a lot of uh, you see a lot of discs uh, in there, and you know some of them are not recognized yet because I didn't format them. So uh, I have a lot a lot of hard drives. You know, if you if you're that type of person, like I said, I would recommend this motherboard uh, definitely back in the day. Now, obviously, there's other options. MSI is the way to go, but at the time, ASUS was the best. Uh, you know, in terms of what they offer in terms of hard drives, if you don't care about you know certain memory not operating at the advertised speed and so on and so forth. But it will be the last Asus uh, board I am ever going to use, only because I've had so many issues with that, especially with my clients who had issues with it uh, due to memory and stuff that it wasn't working with, uh, with that, even the recommended memory. So this one I got, I can tell you, I can verify this baby works. Uh, nothing really to write home about, but it works. <laughs> it just doesn't, because, uh, you know, it limits uh, its capability, unfortunately, but really operates, uh, you know, the computer really operates really well. Everything is great. I still use it from, what, like four years ago when I did the build, uh, the build for you guys uh, to show you how to build the computer. But, um, yeah, so anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Definitely comment down below in the forum section, which they call comment section, but I call the forum section. Let's together give back to the community by making the community grow, but also by uh, in, uh, letting them be properly informed so they can make better informed decisions. And like I said before, um, you know, thank you guys for offering for funding and stuff like that. But believe me, I got this. And the best way we could, get, you know, we're all giving back is by letting people know the truth, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, uh, whether this fixed your problem, the issues you had, whether it didn't fix the issues you had. I did multiple videos uh, 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 teaching people how to get get out of, uh, you know, freezing situations, blue screens of death and all kinds of other stuff. And I got a lot of good feedback from you guys that it, uh, that it worked. And I'm really happy always to hear that it worked. And of course, some of you guys are still saying certain things are not working. And like I said, I always try to replicate it and come out with videos in addition to everything I do on this channel. So definitely, if you like what you see, like, subscribe, hit that bell button. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye. As always, guys, if you like what you see, self-funded here, be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini-series to unboxings to technology, you know, and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it, and I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.